So here we are a couple days later. I'm editing this video at the moment and I realized there's no intro. I just jump into it after I'm on the road. So let me give you a little intro. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I am going to the Saratoga Springs Expo. I won two free tickets, so why not? It's also the closest expo to my home. It is the first time they've put on this expo and it's being put on by the breeders that I got Pip from. So very good breeders. Um, it looks like they've got a full, almost full, like vendor list. So it should be a really good expo. So I'm just kind of gonna vlog the whole thing. Um, the day that I filmed, I was going up to Saratoga. I was going to Plato's Closet to get money for the expo and stay in an Airbnb. And the next day is the expo and then home. So that kind of wraps up what you were about to watch. Okay, so let me just update you guys on my adventure. I am now in Saranac Lake. For those of you that don't know where Saranac Lake is, it is right outside of Lake Placid. Not the Gator movie, that's I think Florida. This is like the 1980 Olympics Lake Placid, the Winter Olympics, you know, like Miracle on Ice, the big old hockey game, US one, you know, that kind of uh, Lake Placid. And I had no way of charging my phone in the car. I had my cord, but I had nowhere to plug it into because I didn't realize all the chargers got taken out of my car. And my phone was like dying. So I've been driving for like two hours on airplane mode. I wrote down the directions. Luckily I had this random notebook. So I wrote down my GPS directions just in case my phone did in fact die. But I managed to find this Kinney's where I'm at right now. And literally, I walked in and my phone was on 2%. So I cannot even believe how lucky I am. But also not only did I get a charger, but I got this really cool phone mount. Okay, so you guys know the ones that go on your air conditioners or like your vents in your car? Yet those don't work in my car. They had this one that goes into your CD player in your car and holds your phone. And I never use my CD player. So this is like freaking awesome hands-free my phone is up here now this is oh, this is fantastic i'm so happy guys all right back on the road let's go the lake placid olympic training center where the olympians and really good athletes stay my parents stayed there when they were competitive ice dancers and i actually have a friend that quite frequently stays there and stayed there for quite a while that is trying to make it to the Olympics for luge. All right, so we are now in the Saratoga, Albany area. I've got two bags going to Plato's closet to see how much money I get for the expo tomorrow. Hoping quite a bit, but we'll see. Okay, so I didn't make as much at Plato's Closet as I would have liked to. And of course, like always, there's things they didn't take that I'm just mind blown that they didn't take. But they did take a lot. Um, I ended up walking out with about $60, which is pretty average for me. I know a lot of people say they make nothing from Plato's Closet and they like think it's a scam. But guys, I've been selling to Plato's Closet for years and I don't think I've ever walked out with less than like $40. I think it really just depends on the Plato's Closet and on the day. Like I've gone in and sold a bunch of stuff that I got from Walmart. So I was expecting a little more this time because these are mostly clothes that I gained during college when I actually had a mall near me. So it's a lot of Forever 21, Charlotte Rue, stuff like that. Where in the past it was like Walmart and Rue 21 was everything I owned. <laughs> 
but yes, yeah, so I made about sixty dollars. Um, so I just I drove over to Close Mentor. Um, it's owned by Plato's Closet, like the same company, but just targets women as opposed to teens and girls. Um, so I kind of rewent through my bags, brought some of stuff in. Uh, we'll see what they take. Um, I know they're very high end name brand. Like she said, she wanted Hollister, American Eagle like name brand bags and I'm too cheap for all of that. I've never shopped at Hollister or American Eagle in my life. So I don't own anything from them. So um, I'll be happy if I can sell one item here, but I figured, you know what, I'm here, why not? Um, so I'm just gonna sit in my car, eat my Chipotle. The girl said it'd take about an hour to go through my bags. I'm hoping they were kidding because that would put me at seven. So probably like 6.45 I'll go back and check. Um, we'll see how long it takes me to eat my dinner. I might just walk around the mall some more while I wait. I don't know, but that's uh, the update for now. All right, so I successfully sold one item at Clothes Mentor. Okay, so I called it Clothes Mentor earlier. It's actually Style Encore, 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 whatever that, place and i successfully sold one item Woo! that was all i wanted was just sell one item there because i knew the clothes i had were not really geared towards that shop it's like one thing and i'm totally okay with it because they paid me 13 dollars for that one thing so that brings me up to about 70 and i am now content Are you guys doing? Oh, yep, there it is, the breakfast. Um, can I do a, oh gosh. Um, I'm gonna do a bacon breakfast crunch wrap, please, but can I get that without the sauce inside? Bacon crunch wrap with the sauce? Yes. Here you go. Okay, so I had the hardest time finding parking. I got to the expo about 30 minutes early and I literally just got in my car and started walking and the expo started six minutes ago. So this is a little nuts, but we're almost there. Expo was so much fun. Um, it did turn out 
really nice. It was mostly ball pythons and geckos, I will say that, but it was very nice. All of the breeders seemed very good and very knowledgeable, so I will say they did a very good job in their selection. I tried to get lots of footage. There was a lot of people there, like a lot. So I, I'll have to look and see how much footage I actually ended up getting for you guys, but I tried my best. Uh, can I just say, the amount of leeches that were there, oh my gosh, and they were huge and gorgeous, and man, I wish I wasn't going to live on a zookeeper salary for the rest of my life. Also, a quick shout out to the guys that recognized me and said hi. I am so sorry I didn't get your names. As soon as we parted ways, I realized I never asked, and I am so, so sorry. But to the two guys, that said hi and that recognized me and that said they watched my channel. Thank you so, so much. It was so great to meet you guys. Honestly, it really made my day. And I'm so sorry again that I didn't get your names, but shout out to you guys. Um, thank you so much for stopping and saying hi. It was great meeting you guys. Also, just know that you two have the sneak peek at the new animal that no one else knows about. So you guys kind of got like the behind the scenes scoop, VIP access on the behind the camera view of what is going on. So with that being said, yes, I did pick up a new animal today. Technically I picked up two. Only one was an expo buy though. Um, the other one has technically been mine for a couple of months now actually like a month and a half. Um, but this other animal has technically been mine for a while. And it was just that the guy that had her lived kind of far away. He lived three hours away. So I told him I was going to Saratoga Expo and lo and behold, he was too. So we met up in a parking lot after the expo. And yeah, so I won't announce that one yet because it is very, very exciting. Um, and then the other animal I got uh, is another one that I'm hoping will join the education crew. I will give you one hint, it is a lizard. I was keeping my eye out for a good lizard that could join my education crew of animals because right now Arcadius is the only lizard I bring with me to do shows. And a lot of people aren't that fond of snakes. And my reptile program is all snakes and Arcadius. So I've been keeping my eye out for another lizard that would be good. I try to stay away from your typical pet store animals that you know anyone can go to PetSmart and see. So crested geckos and bearded dragons and whatnot. A good lizard that wasn't going to add a whole lot of burden to my life at the moment, but something that would be good for education. And this animal was at the very, I kid you not, last table. I was gonna make it out of there without buying an animal. Last table, I found this animal and it was one that I've had my eye on for a while. I know I say that about all the animals, but this one was also one that I've had my eye on for a while. I don't know if you typically see them captive bred. I don't think you do. I think you normally see them wild caught, and these guys were captive bred. He had one male and one female, and he was looking to get rid of them because they didn't want to deal with lizards that needed all this lighting and UVB and whatnot anymore. They wanted to just limit themselves back to crested geckos and whatnot that didn't need a whole lot of lighting and care um, in that sense. So he had them marked way down, way down from what he could have been asking for them being captive bred and handleable. Okay, these species are not that fantastic with their temperaments and being handled. But with these guys being captive bred and with him working with them, they were pretty good. He got it right out in front of me and handled it. And I told him right up front, I'm keeping an eye out for a good education animal. I need one that can travel with me and that is okay with being held for education programs. And he swore up and down that this lizard was would be great for it. Um, so you'll definitely see them eventually. I'm super upset because my reptile program this month is literally tomorrow. So I can't use these guys because they're going to be adjusting and quarantining and yada yada. So I did ask you guys on Instagram if you prefer 
record a haul video and then a vlog video, or we wanted them both in one, and it was kind of 50-50, but I'm not gonna, I said I'm not gonna do a haul video because I really, I just got feeders and like bedding, because that was what I went for. I wanted to just go get supplies, feeders, bedding, anything else I might need, which I really didn't. Um, I did get isopods, so I'll tell you that just in a general sense. I got isopods, two new animals, and then just feeders and bedding. So I did do pretty well today. I didn't use my credit card at all. I did not use all the cash that I brought with me. I did good today, I did. This is like the least amount I've spent at an expo in the past year. So that's kind of the overview of what I got. Like I said, I won't tell you the animals I got yet. I want to, I want to see them go into quarantine to make sure they're healthy and everything is good before they have their introduction videos. You know, like I do with all my animals. And then I will do a video covering all of my isopods that I got. So I'm not gonna sit here and list them all off right now, but I will do one whole video just on the isopods. So I'm very excited about that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this wasn't too boring. I tried to get really cool footage. Um, so I hope I did, because I haven't looked at what I got. Um, and I didn't really get, besides the animals and the isopods, I didn't really get too much that's like, haul worthy at the expo so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any more videos and we'll see you